Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys on actually how to jailbreak iOS 6. So these past years, jailbreaking has been kind of hit or miss because some of the apps are kind of gone and all that. But I will show you guys a source to find all these jailbreak tools, including in jailbreaking this time iOS 6. So we got an iPod Touch 4 here on iOS 6. And I'm going to show you guys two ways, of course, with Windows and Mac. So without any further ado, let's go to the video. Okay, so we gotta do the Windows side first here. Now the first thing is if you guys have iTunes installed there, as you can see like I did here. So you can see here, I do have iTunes 11 on here. Now if you guys have an iTunes library on your computer, basically we gotta go to your music log folder and just drag the iTunes folder out so you guys don't mess around with your iTunes library on your computer like so. Okay, next with the uninstall everything that is published by Apple. So just check on your control panel here and make sure uninstall everything. All right, so we're gonna go to the r slash legacy jailbreak reddit. Now, big thanks to them. They actually compile like a a whole archive for jailbreak tools. As you can see, if, like you can see a lot of jailbreak tools like Black Boss, Black Rain, Home Depot, DIPA. But we'll go here and find out Plastic Zone. Now we'll click on Windows, but don't worry. I'm just I'm just re-recording this again. All right, so we're still talking about Windows here. And then we click on Postix Phone uh, version 1.0.8 and just right click and download as standard. And next we're gonna go to IPSW.me, but not for downloading IPSW, we're gonna actually download an older version of iTunes. Yes, downloading iTunes, we're gonna download iTunes version 11.1.5 because that is what the version of iTunes that is working for this tool. And then click this download 64 bit or 32 bit as your version. All right, as you can see down there, version 11.1.5.5. Okay, we're gonna go and right click and extract it, open it up. All right, if uh, iTunes pop up, just close it up, and you can see there, touch for 6.1.6, hit the jailbreak button, and wait for the magic to begin. All right, and there we go guys, Cydia. We're gonna open it up and make sure we're gonna load everything up. All right, and just finish updating Cydia. All right, now you can see Cydia will load. You just gotta do all the updates and everything should work fine. Now, we're gonna restore the back, this iPod back and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it on the Mac. Okay guys, so for the Mac users, I have two options for y'all. One of them is this one. This one is the customize Postix Phone by Will S. So thank you, Will, for this customized Postix Phone. And why I say customized? Because this is the version that will work with Big Sur and Carolina. As for Mojave and Lower, I don't know, but you can try to use Postix Phone, the Mac version, that's the same archives here. From the r slash legacy jailbreak archives here, you can download the 1.0.8 or the this one 1.0.12 uh i don't know i cannot test it out yet as, as of right now but i think most of most of us right now is running big sir and catalina thing so i think this one should be working okay once that's downloaded we'll go to downloads and extract it open up the folder now you can see there's a lot of things here we're gonna focus on this one thing pausexpone.tool hit open and we're gonna wait for it to load and then you see this prison break cannot be open because uh the developer can be verified this is because the gatekeeper so we're gonna hit on cancel we're gonna close this one we're gonna go to system preferences security and privacy and we're gonna go ahead and open the lock touch id allow anyway and we're gonna go back to plus and hit open there we go as you can see there Touch for 6.6 detected, click jailbreak to begin. All right, now we hit jailbreak and let the magic rolls. Now, stay tuned because there's gonna be a magic of this jailbreak, on what this jailbreak is actually running on. You can see right there in the background, we got some verbose uh, thingy too for the jailbreak with the terminals.
So I guess it does work on the Mac. You can see there 6.6, 6.5 here, but it will work on 6.6 .6 anyway. And the thing I want to tell you guys is all of these jailbreaks are running actually on on the M1 Mac. So you can see here you get the Intel, uh, Khan, other and other things are running on Apple. So this. So the jailbreak is actually running on Rosetta and everything working fine. So yeah, it works on M1, Big Sur, Catalina, what more could you ask? All right, now we're gonna go ahead and try City again here and everything should load. User, so you just let's do hacker now, one not, one not, all right? As you can see, City is loading. Now you guys gotta update your City and everything should be loaded, good to go. All right, so there you go. That's how you guys jailbreak iOS 6.1.6. I might say iOS 6 earlier. I mean 6.1.6 .6 because 6.1.3 and others, the tool is a little bit different compared to 6.1.6 .6 for the 3GS and the iPod Touch 4. So yes, now you can squeeze some more life out of these old device, almost 10 year old device actually, which is pretty, pretty crazy with the iPod Touch 4 and iOS 6 itself. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this video and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.